world, it's your boy. What up, world? It's your boy, Mobile from Mobile Publishing and Productions, LLC. The media group, I Deserve an M, Intellectual Collective Mind, LLC. The re organization that is the revitalization of Black Wall Street. Uh, dealing with something right now. Uh, not me, myself, but just thinking about what's going on in the world and society today. And I'm going to sit back. I'm not a TV watcher, game player. I study all day. You know, see what I do in situations of community activism. I go out and I reach out to the community and I deal with us as a people. You know, I'm spiritually grounded in everything I do, family oriented, just like it was. You know what I'm saying? That's, that was the basis of uh, Black Wall Street. I'm doing the same thing. Y'all see me on here what I'm talking about tonight. And this event is pertaining to. Uh, Queens, watch out. You know what I'm saying? That the situation is we're, we're not fighting against uh, flesh and blood, but we're fighting against principalities and spiritual wickedness in our places. People might think I'm crazy when I talk about this. You know, know enough of my past, whatever the situation is, but this is why I've changed because I've become spiritually conscious of what's going on and I know what's happening out in society, you know? And I what a period of time, I, 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 you know, since we, we can go all the way actually back to the beginning of time, right? So we can go back to the beginning of time. When we start dealing with situations at the beginning of time, this is what I want people to think, think about, right? We have a demonic energy. Y'all believe in God? Hello, my staples. How you doing, Queen? C.C. Alexandra, Queen. So Black Fox, Star Wars, and SBI, y'all doing? Uh, I want y'all to think about something. That uh, we as a people, uh, there was a scripture that says this, if any of you are biblically oriented. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. If you believe in the gods, you must believe in a, that the negative energy of the devil exists, right? And when you start thinking about this, uh, he watched us form. He watched us born. And the whole process of him becoming a resistor, Satan, uh, and a uh, blasphemer, devil, you know what I mean, was because it was based on us. He was supposed to assist and help us. And he's like, look at me. It speaks about an Ezekiel where he says, man, I'm made out of this and this and that and this and that. Why should I have to come down here and... and deal with these people why should i have to cater to them a lot of people don't understand that you're being misled by so many people you know what i'm saying uh the one who actually deals with the situations of i'm gonna say uh the ones who actually deals with the situations of of, of uh, the preachers and ministers a lot of them theology was one of my majors and what they know is that they telling you lies you know what I'm saying? They know they're telling you lies. And the thing is, they're not going to tell you. But if they don't teach what they're taught to tell you, they don't get tires. They don't get to drive around the Bentleys and the Maybachs and the old, oh, you know, oh, I, you know, own everything. So I want you to think about that and say this. They know that this situation took place. And when you look at it, it the, the devil didn't trick Adam. The devil went to go trick Eve. Why did he trick Eve? Because he was hoping and knew that, guess what? Julian Beard, how you doing, King? He knew that we as the man would fall victim, you know what I'm saying, and pray to the wilds of the woman. This is my woman. This is my queen. This is the one I'm... I don't care how negative, how bad you are. I don't care what it is that you do not do. But when the woman you care for likes you or one that likes you, you see what I'm saying? Says such and such happened. You up and you at it. You to protect her. So that he knew what was going on. He was praying, quote unquote, that Adam would say. Eve, what's up? Come here. Oh, my God. Look at you. Look. She got the wrong fruit in her hand. She's not supposed to have it. But he defied his God for her beauty. He defied his God for her protection. He defied his God for catering to her. See, a lot of us don't understand that. Queens, let me explain something to you. 
Your man can go out here and have three whole different families outside of you all's house. And when you do something, he wants to die. Why is that? Let me tell you something. Genetically speaking, through the process of epigenetics, it is in, it, it is engineered in the man to be the protector. It is engineered in the man to look at you as priceless, as precious as Eve if you was first born. Perfect. Holy. To be assigned with honor. He looks at you like this. And when you violate him, you touch him deep work. You touch him so deep on the inside that he can't handle it when he got five whole families outside. Outside your house. You see what I'm saying? So the devil knew and was hoping that this is what Adam would do. And guess what? Adam did just that. So now as we go through the processes of time and you look at situations, guess what? David fell for what? A queen. A woman. Look at Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. Guess what happened? Angels. All of us, when we die, we want to go to heaven. But it was actually angels who were in heaven that left heaven to come down here and be with a woman. Now listen, I'm not disrespecting women. I'm not talking bad about women. What I want you to do is overstand how precious and valuable you are in the keys that are taking place down here in the universe. You know what I'm saying? Not just, on, I was going to say on earth, but in the universe. You see what I'm saying? Nations, some of the greatest feats that have ever taken place, some of the greatest buildings, countries, and cities that have ever been made, but was made for the love of a woman. Some of the most gruesome and brutal wars that have ever taken place have been taking place on a woman. Why do you think you're being switched and placed in a position of headship? Because the powers that be, the principalities, the spiritual wickedness in high places is actually trying to manipulate you. Because guess what he you know? You're going to deal with your emotions. You will get mad at a man. Sheena Diane, how you doing, queen? You will get mad at a man you allow him. Get him killed or whatever happened, and then you will go to your next guy. One in jail, one dead, you're going on to somebody else. It don't matter to you. This is how the principalities and spiritual wickedness is misusing the queen. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of you are beginning to do things and, and, and get involved in situations, and you don't even know why you're doing them. These are things that you said that you would never do according to the polish, the class, the style, and the elegance in which you are made. I never do this, but you fall a victim to peer pressure. You fall a victim to situation and circumstance. This is what's happening now. This is what we as women do now. And this is our, these are the things that you're doing. And these are the things that the devil has done. Now, I want you to look back. Go back to Moses. You know what I'm saying? Diane, Denny and Hawthorne, how you doing, Queen? Go back to Moses. Let me see. Go back. Moses was doing what he was supposed to be doing. Directed by God. Who did the devil manipulate to send in Moses? His own sister, a woman. She supposed to know her place. But she stepped out of her place. Man, God is talking to you, but we all God's people too, so I should have a position. I should have a position. God disciplined her. But he didn't kill her because he understood that she was demonically inspired. Did I say she had a devil in her? No, but she was demonically inspired, which means her thought process to take over in a man's position didn't come from her. It wasn't natural. You see what I'm saying? Y'all remember Job? Job was the richest man. You know what I'm saying? One of the richest men in the beginning of times in the Bible, right? One of the greatest men of the East. And, and when you look at the Bible in the original Hebrew text, it says that he was one of the greatest men of, of, the, uh, of the Orient. He had everything. And everything died. But guess what? His wife experienced all these things. His wife experienced where all these things came from. Right? But it got so bad to where she became so emotional. Guess what she said? It wasn't Bill. It wasn't, it wasn't Eliphaz. Elihu. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't none of the men that came through and said, man, I can't handle this, man. You broke. All your stuff is gone. You should just give up and quit. They didn't do that. The demonically inspired by the principality of spiritual wickedness in high places, the wife who experienced all these things, the wife who was never cheated on, the wife who was loved. You see what I'm saying? The wife who went through these experiences, guess what she said? 
Job, husband, you should curse God and die. Guess why? God didn't kill her. She was demonically inspired to do what she did. It was not a natural process from her. You see what I'm saying? One of the name is, how you doing, queen? Do you see this? We can get, anybody familiar with Delilah? Book of Judges. What happened? The Book of Judges. The judge for the most high God was destroyed by who? A woman, Delilah. I'm going to love her. I'm going to care for her. I'm going to protect her. Died behind her. Anybody remember the wicked queen Jezebel? All the things that she did. Had men running from her, doing different things of that nature. Killing people because she could through the processes of trickery and sex and making love. This is what, this is what, this is what Jezebel did. Again, why? Who was she inspired to do these things with? Again, I want you to think about everything that's going on around here in society, man. I want you to think about everything that's going on in the world today. Ursula Bazade now, how you doing? I want you to think about this. I want you to think about how many men right now are in prison. Listen, let me explain something to you. This is my thought process. This is how I feel. And I'm not uh, adjusting anybody go out and perform or commit any forms of uh, vigilante justice. You hear me? Uh, that's not what I'm saying. But men who really commit crimes against women and children and even certain crimes against other men, I believe you should get everything you should get coming now. Right now. You know what I'm saying? Forgive me, Father. You know what I'm saying? For my ideology and my thought process. But some of the things that some people do, they deserve it right now. Uh, because this is what it says in the scriptures also. It says that... Uh, Strife continues to go on so strong because discipline is not immediate. You know, back in the days, man, you do some wrong, thunder shoot out the sky, the ground open up, bears, lions come eat you up right now, you died on the spot. So this punishment, it, you know, people refrain from doing things. So this is what I say about that. Men who really do things to people on that nature, I have an issue with you, like a serious, serious, serious problem with you. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not talking about those men. But there are so many brothers right now that are in jail, going through processes of child support, going through all kinds of situations because a woman was mad and lied on a man. And I said, do you understand how the laws are changed? The laws are, it was a period of time where, you know, you didn't have the right to vote. Whatever man said you had to do, now the process of life has been changed over to where you are now the head of everything. Right now, you're the uh, vice president of the United States of America, one of the greatest powers of the world right now. A black woman is. Think about this. I want you to think about women's live. To where now you became so powerful to the degrees to where I am a strong black independent woman, nigga, I don't need you. Think about these things. Think about where these processes are coming from. I don't need a man. I could do everything it is that you can do, which means, guess what? I can raise people on my own, and I'm going to switch positions with you, which is going to be another process, the same thing that happened in the Garden of Eden to where, guess what? We, how, how many of us try to follow you? I say this all the time, that a man who really cares for you, a man who really likes you, guess what he'll do? He'll do anything that is necessary to be a part of your life. Did I say this? So guess what happens when you begin to utilize your power in the right way? Because you're only being misused like this because you are so powerful. But you're ran and guided by your emotions. So this is the part that's being manipulated. This is the part that's being allowed for you to misuse us in society as you're doing. Think about it. How did laws begin to change to the degree? You think you did this because you fought like you fought? And this is what you want to do? How long black people been fighting all their life and never got any farther than where they are? So I want you to think about this. Let me explain something to you. When you're dealing with God, what God makes God God is that he follows his own rules and regulations. He, 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 everything that God does adds up. 2 plus 2 equals 4. You can see the math, the problem, the equation of a nigga. You can see it all. But when the devil does something, guess what? 
It sound good, look good, feel good, taste good, but guess what? Something is always missing. But the thing is, we never question it. What we do is we enjoy the moment so much that guess what happens? We don't pay attention and question the equation. We don't find out why it's here. What's happening, fam? How you doing, brother? We don't question why it's going on. We don't question what's happening. So we're enjoying what is not a blessing, but it's actually a demonically inspired demonstration for us to have so we can lose focus on what we really need to be losing focus on. Queens, you been misused and abused. You hated a man that was with every woman. Melissa McGee, hey, Queen. Y'all hated a man that was with every woman. You didn't want a player. You didn't want these. You didn't want a dude that had kids everywhere. You didn't want a guy who was with this woman, this woman, this woman, and this woman, right? But this is what you've become now. Why? Because you can. I want you to think about this again. I don't want you to think, I don't want you to just enjoy the moment of why you have what you have and being able to do the things that you're able to do. Because every blessing that we get, every prize, every present is not from God. Some of these things are from the devil to actually make us lose focus on what we need to be focused on. Now, if you understand this demonstration, guess what, queen? Why are you trying to take the place of a man? Why are you saying, nigga, I don't need you? Why are you with women? See, the whole process of this is we lose focus on what we need to lose focus on. You such of a strong, independent black woman that guess what? No man is in your house, not because he did anything, but because you don't want him. Your son and your daughter is being raised up sometimes, guess what, in a homosexual house because guess what, you don't need no man. Now, I want you to question yourself and ask yourself, why is this? The situation is demonic influence and with the most high. So he says, man, listen, he said, the kingdom of heaven does not belong to men who lay with men, women who lay with women. It does not belong to murderers. It does not belong to thieves, drunkards, molesters, and different things of this name. This is what the scriptures say, right? He said, it does not belong to these people. He said, but guess what? This is what some of you were. But you have washed your robes and you have made yourselves clean in the blood of the Lamb, which means that you have changed your thought process and you've changed your ideas. You've changed the way that the system, even back then, was trying to make people believe. What's going on now is not new. History is repeating itself. The only thing about the scriptures in Matthew chapter 24, guess what it substantiates? That these things will be worse than they ever have been before. I want you to look at society today and ask yourself, are things getting worse? Then I want to ask you again, who do you think he's using? Who controls the world? We as a black people alone spend $1.5 trillion a year with every other culture but ours. And I want you to think about this. Right now, who's spending that money? I don't care how much money a man making. He in the game and he doing this and he doing that. Guess what happens when he in a lounge, restaurant, or in the mall? He'll buy a chick something he don't even know. Just to show her he got it. So who, who's, who's influencing him? Is this not Eve? And some of you are queens. Some of y'all look perfect. Some of y'all are so beautiful. It's like, oh my goodness, that has to be Eve's child. Not just from the genealogical line, but oh my God, right now. So I, why are these laws changing for you? Why is all this money being presented for you? Why are so many different situations... When you get a job, you can get loans and different things of that nature by being a minority, right? But guess what? They give it to the minority black woman before they give it to the minority black man. I want y'all to pay attention to what's happening, man. Pay attention to what's happening. Because you are being influenced to help the devil destroy the world. You're being misused. So I want you to think about this because you're being influenced. I want you to think about what you're doing. I want you to get yourself together. I want you to become back. I, I want you to revert to the elegance. I want you to revert back to the polish. I want you to revert back to the style. You see, all the things that you used to be in the beginning and that some of you still are today, this is what I want you to remain as. Because you are being... Listen, let me explain something to you. I just went and got me another Mac today, right? 
it's the best thing that you can get as far as a computer doing the things that I do, videography, photography, promotion, different things of that nature, right? Sheen Diane, thank you so much, Queen. This is what I do, right? So I get it from the store. They're expensive as a Mac, but, <laughs> but this is what I use. So you get what you pay for. You see what I'm saying? So I want you to do the same demonstration to understand that I kind of forgot where I was going. But I want you to understand this, man. Women, I want you, this is what I'm getting at. This is the tool. Somebody can come and use this Mac. Somebody can come and use this Mac. Both of these is uh, 15 inches. Them $2,500 a piece. You know what I mean? You can use those. You can't use the one that I use all the time that I predominantly do my work in. Because this is the best tool that I use. This one I use. Everything that I need on this is on this one. And this one is mine personally, right? It's the best tool. A lot of you queens have beauty salons. And guess what? Somebody can come and use your stuff. Girl, I just bring, no, you can't get your, oh, this is the last time. But you got stuff that you can buy that people can use. But it's some tools that you just don't let nobody use. Same thing with the king. You got a toolbox. You got a saw. You got a drill. You got something that you utilize. But you got multiple that people can use. But guess what? It's one that can't nobody use. One or two? Because these are yours. Can't nobody deal with these, right? Because that's the best tool. So, queen, I'm not disrespecting you. What I want you to understand is, guess what? You are the best tool in the universe to use for the devil. To misuse and manipulate the system that's going on in the day because guess what he knows the man the head nine times out of ten and in his weakness guess what he will do he will not lead you in the right direction and with the right head and he will allow you to fall guess what he will do he will become jealous of the ability and the power that you have he will become jealous and upset angry and envious and want to fight you and disrespect you and dog you and try to misuse you just like the devil do instead of catering to you instead of saying queen come here let me talk to you baby let me holler at you for a minute let me sit down listen and, and, and reverting back to the spiritual content that we need to and guess what man like joshua said he said it's for me and my household we will serve the most high god so let me explain something to you right now while we in this quarantine and you missing stuff Guess what you should be doing right now? You should be regaining your relationship with the man in your house, the woman in your house. Miss Arnold, how you doing, K? You should be, man, who is this? Right here, Jakey J, how you doing? You should be reverting back to your family, the mother, the father that you are. You should go ahead and regain your relationship with your most high God. Vincent T, you a scripture in the Bible that says, guess what? During the last days, I will force you to go into your interior rooms. Not force you, but he said, when it happened, I want you to go to your interior rooms. So when you go to these interior rooms, guess what? This is not a time for you to miss anything. This is a time for you to become grounded within yourself and regain your relationship with whoever it is that you call your most high. You need to get with them right now because when your spirituality is in order, from which everything initiates from, everything is derived from spirituality. When you get that in order, guess what happens? Everything else is in order. Somebody tried to, uh, you know, well, I was communicating with somebody the other day, and I said, I'm not ready for that right now. And I said, I won't be good for you right now. You know what I'm saying? And anything outside of this, because right now I need to regain my spirituality. I need to get myself in order because I'm out of order. And I know once I regain that, guess what's happening? Everything else going to be in the focus. And if anything is meant to be or anything should be, guess what? It'll happen. But until then, hurry up and wait. Learn to be quick, to be patient. You see what I'm saying? So kings, right now, you brothers that claim that you are conscious, don't become jealous, don't become envious of her right now, man, because she's in a greater position than you in right now. Understand why she's in the position that she's in. Understand that she's one of the most powerful tools in the universe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's being misused by Prince of Pat. She's so po Man, listen. She's so powerful. She's not just being misused by the neighbor down the street. The boss at work. You know what I'm saying? Some of the people in the street. She's not just being 
manipulated going through the process of peer pressure through her friends, guess what she's dealing with? Man, she's dealing with principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. But guess what? You got a Bible in your house. You got a phone in your house. You know what I'm saying? A smartphone. Guess what you need to be doing? You need to be overstanding what needs to be done. This is one of the reasons why the most high said in First Peter, guess what he said? Husbands, man that's in this woman's life, guess what he said? Continue to love her. He said, deal with her in knowledge. Understand what she's dealing with and going through right now, man. And be the one to utilize this tool in the correct way. Take this tool from the person. You see what I'm saying? That's misusing her and use this tool correctly. Guide her in the right direction with the right head and let her know that, baby, listen. Because of you, you the key to the physical universe. Without you, nothing in life would exist. Perfect or imperfect, just try to be the best that you can be. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to come in and try to be that other half of you. That will make you whole to the best of our ability. But this is what's going on. I'm not just talking about from a job perspective. This is why you had a job. And this, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking, this, you make more money than me because that's not, okay, you gave her that. But take it to the spiritual realm to give her an understanding of why she's going through these things that she's going through. Why she's experiencing having that great job. Why she's experiencing getting more money than you. Why the world is changing. All the rules and regulations are changing for the woman in society today. Some of you people will say, guess what? Oh, it's our turn. Guess what? It been your turn from the beginning. You was the key, the physical key that said everything that the most had made in motion. Not until he made the woman to the most. Listen, he's omnipotent, omnipotent, all-powerful. He don't need no rest. That's what he said. After he made the woman, and that's it. And after he made her, he rested. He didn't need rest. When you study Hebrew, what it meant is everything that he set in order, after he finished making you, you were the key to it, and you set everything in motion. King. Deal with her in this knowledge, the woman that's in your life. Queens, those of you who know why you're in the situation, the position that you're in, that you're being misused, guess what you do? Stand fast, stand firm. Lenica says, so many of us are transforming and moving over to where it says, guess what? Let not the dormant, let not your dormant be the external braiding of your hair, the trinkets and the ornaments that you put on, but let it be the secret person of the heart. Which means, man, when you go somewhere, people, man, I can't. Guess what dudes say when they see certain women? This is what, this is how all of our women used to be back. In, I'm not disrespecting to say anything to anybody that's disrespectful, but the whore that y'all call right now, the slut, the thot, all, she was so rare back in the day. Everybody's adornment was the secret person of their heart. It was character. It was style. It was polish. It was class, right? Y'all remember her? Everybody wanted to be with her. And everybody, all the men had to be right to be with her. It was some women that we looked at that we wouldn't even kick it with or try because I'm not ready for her. So I'm not going to hurt her since I can't help her elevate. This is what the brothers were. See, the brother need to step back to that. And queens, you need to step back to that. So to you queens who are already here, guess what? Motivate and inspire the queens and the sisters that are with you to do the same. I'm not telling you to be conceited. I'm not telling you to talk to people disrespectfully. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is continuously allow your actions to prove who you are. Continuously allow integrity. Again, we talked about Job today. And one of the greatest scriptures that I ever written or I ever read in the Bible came from Job. When his friends continuously communicating with him now. People call them friends. When you look back at that in the Hebrew word, he calls them false comforters. So you're not here to help me for real. you just here to be in my business. And what Job told them is, man, I'm not whatever you, I don't care what you say. He said, guess what? He said, until the day I die, I will hold my integrity to myself. Man, go look that word up. Queens, go look that word up. This is the adornment. This, this, this is the, the, the secret person of the heart, your integrity. 
kings is not becoming jealous and envious and mad at your girl and teaching her the right way. Guess what you do? You remain and hold your integrity. Integrity is, guess what? The person you are when you're in front of a million people is Jay-Z on stage. You got a, you on stage with a concert and you got enough people around you like Jay-Z. You got enough people around you like Barack Obama, right? You, you see how polished, clad, stylish they are? But guess what your integrity does? It allows you to be that same person when you're by yourself. Your integrity allows you to be that same person when it's just you and her. Your integrity allows you to be the same person that you are even when you're mad at her. Because guess what you're doing? You're dealing with First Peter says. You're dealing with her in knowledge. You're assigning her with honor as the feminine one in a weaker vessel. I want you to think about that. If this is how you would deal with her, guess what, man? She's the weaker vessel, a jewel, assigning her with honor. You're the gemologist. Cut, polish, shine the diamond that is in your life. Every facet of it, man. Make it shine and gleam. Make it show that rainbow when somebody looking at it. You see what I'm saying? I don't care if she got on a full coat. Driving down the street in the car when they see her head and know it's her because King, you are leading her with the right direction and the right head on top of who she already is. Make a rainbow come out at night in her character. Make her go to a, a lounge or a club, wherever you take her to, man, and make other people feel that they're underdressed. When she might have on some jeans, but it's just her character, her energy. I've talked to certain people about that, and they become offended or scared when I talk about the energy, but it's real. That's what spirit is. Nefesh, Numa. Look it up. Oh, you want to know about it? Call me, and I'll direct you to where you can find it from. But let her feel this way. King, queen, you're in a position where you're in a situation, a position to where you are being misused, manipulated by the states, the cities, and different things of that nature. Am I telling you not to utilize it? Nah. Because what the scriptures say again, you see me keep coming from the scripture. It says, use the world, but not according to the full. So if it does not defy your principalities, if it does not de defy your principles, if it does not defy your standards, you hear me? And it does not defy your home, and it does not deny your position, utilize it. But not to the full meaning. Don't forget why you're utilizing it. Don't forget the focus of why this is in your life and why you're utilizing this. You see that guy with the potential? That's act. He has active potential. Deal with him. Work with him, especially when he can come to you and says, "Listen," and not just tell you, but show you that he can help you elevate and transcend whatever it is that you're doing. I don't care. If anybody in my life, you're a millionaire, you're a billionaire, whatever the demonstration is, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to help you expound on it. That's what a man's job is. So, queen, as you see yourself in this position and you see him like that, king, at the same time, acknowledge what is in your life because guess what? Again, I didn't make it a key and I'm not just talking about how powerful and potent she is. I just gave you situations from history. Biblical history, science, and everything. You know what I'm saying? There's not another woman on the planet like the black woman. There is no other species of woman that can produce every other form of race but the black woman. No other skin tone and natural nationality and color besides the black queen. This is how powerful she is. This is why she was called Eve, the mother of all living. Treat her like that. Give her the understanding of who she is. Pay attention to her. Watch her and protect her like we should have. And I'm going to say something, man. Uh, when you study in the Bible, when you talk about the process of the Garden of Eden, we, as the man, can be so focused on what it is that we're trying to do. Love, bro, what's the demo, fam? You got to come see me. Uh, we can be so focused on getting our job is to be like uh, TP said the other day, Terry Parks. Um, our job is to be navigators. Uh, we are lords, honors. We're warriors. You know what I'm saying? We're conquerors. This is what we're trying to do. And we can be so focused on this that we can lose 
to focus on you and how we are supposed to deal with you. Help us remember that. Not with disrespect, but tactfully. You see what I'm saying? So that we can come back and play the position that we're supposed to hold for you. Don't get mad when a man tells you in the right manner. When you need to stay in your place. When he's actually staying in his place too because he has a place as well. And his place is to lead you in the right direction and with the right head. I don't care if you're surpassed him. I don't care if you're above him. Guess what you do? And you're making sense. Guess what he's going to do? He's going to delegate the authority. No matter who makes the most, who has the biggest job, who's making the most money, he's going to delegate authority. When you make sense, he's going to do what the most high told Abraham to do with Sarah. He said, man, listen to her. So when he's proving to you that he's in the right position and he's holding his position, hold yours. But until then, please, brothers and sisters, kings and queens, come together. Because our queens are being misused. Queens acknowledge this and brothers, please acknowledge it as well. Together, use your consciousness to unite. I'm not even talking about a side collective minds LLC. I'm talking about with yourself in your house. Make it a home again. Be careful. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places that are dealing with devouring the flesh. But it said in Revelations chapter 7, he said, Whoa. He said, Be glad you heavens and you who reside in them. He said, But whoa for the earth and for the sea. For the devil has come down to you having great anger knowing that he has a short period of time and he's going to take over us any way he possibly can and the best way is to use the best tool which is the woman so again queen i'm not disrespecting you i want you to know how powerful you are so you can acknowledge what's happening in this world today that involves you as the key i'm out of here y'all take care i love y'all